If I've done everything right, this video should be released on November 1st, which supposedly is Ricochet's birthday. I say supposedly because there's a pretty big citation needed on Wikipedia. Anyway, I thought I'd celebrate this revolutionary experience by showing off some of the lesser known cut content they can still find in the remains of the game's files. I haven't heard of anything else on the internet that documents this stuff either, which I think makes it cooler. First off, let's take a look at the unreleased manual. The Ricochet Player's Guide. Did you know that Ricochet was supposed to be third person? Cause I did, you filthy casual. You can even see a screenshot of third person Ricochet and... Hey, that model isn't in the game. Well kids, turns out there are quite a few models that didn't make it into... <laughs> retail Ricochet. Three that I can find at least. The first one is the alternate player model we saw in the screenshot. It looks like Ricochet was originally going to let players choose between a male and female character. This is also an incredibly unknown Valve character that I don't think a lot of people know about. She appears to have different tattoos including a tiger and a black sun. Next up are two power-up models that aren't used for any of the existing four. If you don't know, Ricochet has power-ups that can spawn in the arenas. These being fast shot, multi shot, power shot, and freeze shot. They can also stack, so if you get multiple power-ups, it will combine them. Only four of them are in the game, but we can find models of two more in this directory. Named Curve and Viz, respectively, we can again look at the models in the game. Curve Shot has the appearance of a hovering soccer ball. My theory for this power-up is that it used to track players curving through the air in order to hit them. Currently, the Free Shot power-up has this ability, and it's a bit strange, as it tr both tracks and freezes them. I think that these two power-ups were combined into just free shot. Next up is Viz Shot, which I'm more at a loss for. Its appearance seems to be a present or gift of some kind. Viz could stand for visible, so it might have turned the discs invisible. That's just a blind speculation on my part though. It's a shame this game is so undocumented though. Apparently it was made by one person in just three months to show off the modding capabilities of the Gold Source engine. Honestly, I think it shows off the engine's potential pretty well and how easy it is to make something completely new out of Half-Life as a base. To me, Ricochet represents Valve's dedication to the modding community and providing restrictionless tools to be used for whatever imaginative ideas we could come up with. This has been VMF Walks, and in the meantime, this is where I get off. You know how to rick, but how well can you shay? I love throwing these discs every single day. Ricochet's the best game, that is what I say. I will not stop till I go all the rick away. Ricochet, ricochet, the best game sold on Steam. Ricochet, ricochet, much more than just a meme. Ricochet is all we need. Why would you want Half-Life 3?